where the Deer Lodge was located. It was our largest uh, shelter facility. Uh, it would hold about 100 people. It was very popular. Uh, just this summer we had 37 events here. Uh, people renting it out for family reunions and uh, weddings and a variety of other activities. And it had to be removed because it, it was... It had to be uh, removed because it was going to fall in the river and we did not want that. Uh, we had a backhoe come in and the man with the backhoe pulled it this direction toward us and pulled it away from the river and uh, that way we were able to get the cement slab out as well. The cement slab was about two feet thick. It was probably built back in the days when the cement was really cheap. How, before the, the erosion, how uh, far away was the edge from where well, the Well, I would say maybe 25, 30 feet away from the back door of the uh, shelter house. And this all happened just in one... We one started, year. we saw it in early October. And uh, I can show you the pictures of the October event where it dropped about three feet and the crack was maybe about eight inches and it made a huge curve as you can see following the fence line here. That curve and uh, over time in mid-November it dropped about 15 feet and the crack was just huge and uh, we can go over and see it just a little bit if you want. Okay. So what uh, is the new spot? Oh, uh, that's something there where it all, it's all yeah. slid down and those cracks, that was not there and I think the it's deeper than what it was about uh, two weeks ago when I was here. Unfortunately, we're going to lose the fence, and we didn't want to take a chance on uh, taking the fence out because the fence is set in cement, and we didn't want any equipment down there. I didn't want our workers down there. How far down is it to the river? Oh, I would guess originally from when the lodge was here. It was about a hundred foot drop. Yes, it has. It has moved quite a bit. It's coming down on that southwest side, uh, northwest side, and hitting, and then it undercuts the bank and then it moves on down. And this is how it started. This is a crack like this. And it slowly developed into that. When it first opened up, the guys put a tape measure down and he had a 25 foot long tape measure. It went all the way down and he didn't touch the bottom. When you're going down on a canoe, what, what kind of, do you see things like this? Oh yeah, the, this is a new river basically, 10,000 years old. <clears throat> this is all Des Moines lobe of the Wisconsin glaciation. So when the big wash went out as the glaciers melted, it carved this, this wide valley. Uh, and it was very deep. And then since that time what's happened is the valley's filled in. So you have a higher uh, floor of the valley than what was once here. And the Raccoon River is meandering back and forth between the valley walls through the sands and gravels and, and rock of the, of the glacial you know, outflow. So and what you have here is the Raccoon River is now up against the old valley wall. <clears throat> and that occurs all the way above Sac City, all the way down, you know, to Des Moines. You know, the river will get up against that old wall, and then you get these dramatic bluffs so, that can go this high, which I suppose is close to 100 feet. And they're, they're pretty sheer, you know, and at the base of them, there's a lot of digging. The, the boulders tumble out of these into the river. The river churns around those boulders and then digs, and those boulders drop, 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 till you get holes 10 to 20 feet deep below what the fishermen call these clay banks. And they hold a lot of smallmouth, and you know, there's a lot of oxygen, there's a lot of habitat for a lot of critters down there. So you get a lot of good fishing below these banks. They all know that along here. Now, coming down the river, you'll see a lot of times where this sloughing has occurred. And the, there's eroding at the base, I guess, and then it, you know, it slides down. And sometimes these trees will stay upright all the way down to the, to the river, you know, and then they'll eventually fall in. 
other times they tumble. But this is a natural uh, occurrence, probably uh, increased, exacerbated by the higher flows. We had a 51% increase in the amount of water going down the Raccoon River in the last uh, 50 years. And uh, this year we had six episodes where the river was over bank full. So you could say six minor flooding events in the North Raccoon. So this surging of water, this increased flow of water off the landscape because of the type of agriculture we're doing and the intensive tiling that we're doing up the river is increasing the, the flows and, uh, and these events, which means a lot of bank erosion. Now for farmers, you know, a lot of them said they lost 20, 30, 40 feet a bank. I lost 25 feet off of my farm down river from here. You know, that's normal flood plain uh, erosion. And then you get these kind of events uh, where, the, where the water is up against the old uh, glacial valley walls, you know. This is really dramatic. This thing's going to go, all this soil, you know, thousands of tons are going in the raccoon down there. 